Come to the first ever 4chan con where you can meet your favorite trolls in real life. Just mail $50 to Jay Walker. I need it really bad. I have bills to pay, guys. I have so many bills to pay. I think it's totally gonna work. Over the weekend, some guys from 4chan, the internet equivalent of those four guys who sat by themselves in a corner of the lunchroom and talked about everybody, but you never really knew who they were or what they were talking about. Well, those guys decided to create a fake conference to scam feminists on Tumblr. So-called FemCon was to be held in August at Red Door in New York's Chelsea neighborhood. Tickets were going for $50 a piece. Unfortunately, it wasn't a real thing. 4chan members created a page for the event using Selfie, a service designed to sell digital products without starting your own website. It's good. It seems like a good website. It seems like a good website. It's too bad this is the thing they're now famous for. They also created a bunch of fake social media accounts purportedly run by feminists to spread the word about the event. It's a bit suspicious, of course. None of these accounts existed before this weekend, and none of them were posting much other than stuff about feminism and femcon. Yeah, it's not that very realistic, I wouldn't no. say. Super suspicious when a bunch of three-day-old accounts are all posting about the same thing. Plus, some of them have names like The Thinking Feminist 69. That, that, that's actually me. Oh. Yeah. So, The 69, that was your idea. Yeah, like, uh, that's what feminists do a lot. Like, 69? 69, yeah. 420. The Thinking Feminist 420 was already taken. You know, you know there's adult feminists always adding 69 <laughs> and 420 to the ends of things. <laughs> oh, yeah! 69 equal rights. The crazy thing is they were so well organized. I wouldn't say they were really good at it, but just the fact that it was a bunch of people in a chat room, they're like, hey guys, we need art. And somebody's like, all right, I got the art. That was impressive. If only they used their powers for good instead of evil. And they were kind of better at it. For heightened authenticity, this guy even added a post about trans age rights. No, it's funny because people are asking for tolerance and civil rights. What a great joke. Civil rights and equal rights and treating people like you want to be treated. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Suffice it to say, the scam did not work and the feminist on Tumblr figured it out pretty much immediately. Selfie was contacted and the actual ticket purchase page was shut down, luckily before any sales were actually made. We also have some of the actual tiny chat transcripts of 4chan members plotting the whole dastardly plan. What a terrible scam. All these guys, all that work and they didn't make $50. They didn't make even five zero dollars Some Tumblr users as well as Buzzfeed News did a little bit more digging and found evidence of all the work that 4chan put into this scam. This Tumblr post captures the original 4chan thread inaugurating Operation FemCon. Some key quotes. We rake in the money and the ones who put the most effort into this scam will get a cut of the money. I feel like I need to be reading this in a black and white movie bad guy. Ah, eh, see? We rake in the money and the ones who put in the most effort in this scam will get, get a cut of the money. <laughs> we will send all the fem Nazis to a gay bar and we will keep the money to ourselves. They really figured out what feminists hate the most. Gay bars. This is the worst night of my life. I just paid, I paid $50 to have a good time. And for the comments. The scam came to light because so many fe feminists in the target audience are already connected on Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. They're on the internet, shockingly. Queen Idol tweeted, Chan be like, hashtag FemCon 2015, comparing the scam attempt to Steve Buscemi's bumbling detective from 30 Rock. Tune into Angel Radio on Tumblr said, yo 4chan, if you really want to send me to a gay bar, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Xtop on Twitter says, FemCon 2015. What if two kids standing on each other's shoulders inside a trench coat were a convention? Dave X Machina tweets, BRB, someone from definitely not 4chan needs to know if my refrigerator's running. Hashtag FemCon 2015. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. So what do you think the biggest mistake the 4chan kids made in trying to sell this whole thing was? you know, aside from trying to do it at all in the first place. Let us know in the comments. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to What's Trending. I'm Jay Walker. Thanks for watching.